So this is a weekly time frame we are looking at. Market has swept this swing low. Trader who has taken long positions around here would likely have placed the stop loss at this swing low. Sell side purged. Long orders accumulated here after purging the sell side would be paired at this buy side liquidity highs. It is same sequence every time. Turtle soup, OB formation which is delineated with this blue line here followed by an expansion, retracement either into the FEG or OB. Then there is another expansion, retracement, expansion to our drawn liquidity. Sometimes there might be an expansion followed by consolidation instead of the retracement. Then again expansion out of that consolidation to the final drawn liquidity. Now pay attention to this swing high marked with the letter alphabet letter A which is in between on our way to our final drawn liquidity. Traders focusing on lower time frames who have no idea of where high time frames such as weekly is heading would see this sweep of swing high on a 4 hour chart. This is a swing high which we had earlier marked with letter A on weekly chart. Observing this displacement on 4 hour chart particularly with FEG, many traders might be tempted to initiate short positions. But always remember to define your high time frame bias first. The high time frame bias is here is time frames which is above your entry time frame you are taking a trade on. Despite this potential short setup apparent on this 4 hour chart for the majority of inexperienced people, our bias on weekly chart and anticipated drawn liquidity is to the upside. What I generally do is after defining my high time frame bias, I wait for low time frames to get aligned and synced with my high time frame bias. If low time frame is not synchronized with high time frame direction, I either wait for alignment of low time frame with my high time frame bias or I refrain from taking any trades. Inexperienced traders watching the daily time frame would also love to short this bearish daily OB. Only the smart experienced trader would be controlling their emotions, will be waiting for more data from the market to align their entry time frame bias with high time frame bias which is weekly. So let's forward and see what happens next. So you can see here people who shorted here in 4 hour time frame and daily time frame against their weekly bias would have got record and later they see hourly candles inside these daily candles expanding aggressively and they would wonder seeing those candles why it's expanding aggressively or even try to chase the market flipping bias after a loss. So let's analyze what went wrong for the people who have shorted here. So you can see this up candles here is a bearish order block before it got flipped into as a breaker. When our bias is upside all the bearish PDRS in between are just like a speed breakers. Price reacted from this bearish shobi and swept to the lows then this swing high got truly broken this bearish should be turned into a breaker. Here is a small insight. Before a true breakout occurs above any swing high, opposite liquidity gets ran before that move. Why opposing liquidity usually gets ran before a true breakout? This opposing liquidity ran removes people who are longer in these candles when the long stops are hit under this low. They are converted into market sell orders which are paired with smart money buy limits below this swing low. When a weekly candle expands up, there are multiple daily candles in that weekly candle which will be expanding up. You can see that here multiple daily candles together form a weekly candle. You can see this swing high just provided a temporary retracement. You remember what I said before when our bias is up, bearish PDRS in between are just temporary speed breakers. If you see this from weekly perspective, this bearish down candle highlighted with this orange line just appears common. But for traders who are viewing price action on 4 hour time frame in this weekly down candle without a defined weekly bias, they get induced to short easily forgetting their weekly anticipation to the upside DOL. 
when your bullish weekly candle is closer to bear bearish weekly candle open a bullish weekly order block gets created we can frame a pro trend low time frame setup here in discount on weekly ob aligning with our high time frame weekly bias so you can see here how daily candle expansions happened after tapping this weekly key level which is weekly order block when daily candle expands four hour candles in those daily candles will also be expanding up so in this bearish weekly down candle there will be multiple daily down candles when we look in daily time frame retracement into discount happened here and expansion to our weekly drawn liquidity here is an insight high time frame fgs are low time frame liquidity pool you guys may want to ask what do i mean by that here you see a daily bullish fg the bullish fg here is between the first candle high and the third candle low so why fg is our liquidity pool when you zoom into this third candle of this daily fg here let me show you the daily candle delineated here by green arrow it opened wicked down and expanded up low time frame traders would see this daily manipulation wick down as an hourly order block you can see on right side traders would draw fibonacci on this dealing hourly dealing range when price starts retracing they place buy limits on this hourly order block setting this stop below this swing low this hourly swing low market would hunt the stop losses into daily fg denoted by this blue rectangle when long stop losses are hit it converts into a market sell orders which is smart money would buy by setting their buy limits on this daily fg that's the reason you see reaction on this daily fgs so high time frame fgs are a low time frame liquidity pool the high time frame fg here is daily daily bullish fg the low time frame liquidity pool here is hourly swing low don't worry if you did not understand this i will explain you with another example the example which we discussed until now are not really weekly daily four hour time frames this example is of s&p 500 february 3 2023 price action 15 minute 5 minute 1 minute time frames have a look over this image it's all same how algorithm delivers price on low time frame it delivers in a same way on high time frame that's the reason market is called fractal here is monthly bitcoin chart the monthly candle range low has been purged into monthly fg in discount we can anticipate it to take this candle range high i have explained in detail about candle range theory in my previous videos if you want you can check it out and go and watch so here is monthly fg we will discuss why this monthly fg is a liquidity pool on lower time frame such as daily this is a daily time frame so you can see here when this monthly candle has expanded up there were multiple daily candles in that monthly candle which has also expanded up this green lines are monthly opens here you can see the first trade was successful it retraced into daily discount continue to external range liquidity second trade was however it became an inducement trap let's see what un unfolds next you can see how sell side was purged into this monthly fg and low time frame setup of of this daily traders became liquidity to smart money when this long stop losses are hit they are converted to market sell orders which smart money buys by bidding buy limits 
below this liquidity pools on this monthly FEG. That's the reason you see daily candles expanding from this monthly FEG. And I hope you understand and can visualize after seeing these images carefully how item frame FEGs are low time frame liquidity pools. You can also see here monthly key level, monthly FEG and monthly breaker give rise to daily candle expansions. This is a model which I have talked about in my previous videos. If you are not aware of this model which I have teached, you can go and check my previous videos and watch it. Thank you. And I hope you people subscribe to my channel if these insights are useful. More gems will be dropped soon. Keep your notifications on.